We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Hi, ladies. Today I'm going to share with you my weekly reset routine. It is a huge part of my home management system. Something I do every week, and I want to just share with you what that looks like for me.、Um, for context, for those of you who are new here, I am a full-time working mom. My kids are eight and twelve. Both me and my husband work from home during the week. Our kids are involved in a lot of activities. We're just a busy family of four, plus our dog Kaya, which you're gonna see her sometime at some point on that couch behind me.、Um, and I just want to share what that looks like for us. Now, I will say that you know, while my weekly reset routine has some specific things that I do, the time I spend on each. Every week is gonna vary, just depending of what we have going on and basically what area needs more of my attention. So I'm gonna kind of explain that as we go along. But the very first thing that I do on my weekly reset routine is clean the house. So I have my weekly cleaning schedule that I do. It's very simple, really.、Um, I basically. You know, wipe down the surfaces in our main living spaces. I clean the floors, I clean the bathroom, and、um, clean in the kitchen. Those are basically, you know, the basic things that I do. From time to time, it's gonna require me to add things to my cleaning routine. You know, maybe the playroom needs more attention that week,、um, and maybe I need to do some more cleaning in the laundry area. It depends, but those are kind of the minimum things that I do every week. Now I will tell you that this specific task used to take me majority of at least one day on the weekend, and that was mainly because I had a lot of clutter in my house. So、um, I do have a lot of decluttering videos on my channel if you are interested in seeing them. But once I did that major decluttering of my house, this task does not take me long at all.、Um, there is not many things to move around to put back in the inter places because now everything has a space in the house. So it's it's a really quick routine, and I typically like to do all of my cleaning Thursday and Friday in the evening after work. And that part has changed over the years. At one point, I had a routine where I would do one task each evening during the week. I did a routine where I did all of the cleaning on a Saturday, and now I'm in a groove where I do mostly Thursday, where I would do a lot of you know, basically all the cleaning except the floors and floors. Maybe sometimes the bathroom would be for Friday. Um, it depending again what we have going on, but that way, when I wake up on Saturday morning, my house is already you know reset. It's already clean. It's just kind of this good feeling when I come downstairs. I can spend more time to either read a book, spend more time with the family. You know, just kind of having that freedom of doing other things on the weekend. So that has been working for me. In the past, I did it. It was I knew it was amazing. Later, the time、um, was just not there due to other activities we were doing. And now, for the past few months, I have been、um, back at it, and it has been really working really really well for us. So, if you are right now kind of trying to figure out when to do your cleaning, just kind of take a look at at your schedule and see where it's gonna fit best. Um, because it's it's gonna different for everybody, and like I said, I went through different periods when different things worked for me. As long as it fits in your schedule, that's what's gonna work for you. So let me know how your weekly cleaning routine looks like right now for your house.
So as I said before, my weekly cleaning routine is really just a simple cleaning that I do every week. It's not deep cleaning. Um, it's just basically upkeeping the house. Besides that, during the week, every evening, I do have a routine that I do. And that one mainly concentrate on cleaning the kitchen part of the house. So making sure the dishes are washed, the, you know, the counters are wiped off. And then from not every night, but maybe every other every three days, I will vacuum as well. It, that can, one kind of depends on what needs to be cleaned. And then the deep cleaning, that is something that I will do either as part of this weekly reset. If I notice, you know, hey, something needs a deeper cleaning, I will do it then. Or I will dedicate time on the weekend to do a deep cleaning of a particular part of the house. So that's kind of how my cleaning system works. Now, if you're asking yourself a question right now, when does the rest of your house get cleaned? Because what I mentioned is basically our living space. And they get cleaned whenever we get to it. That's the honest answer. I spent a lot of time in the past kind of trying to figure out a good system, you know, how do I clean everything on a regular basis so it never gets to the point where I can visibly see, um, I don't know, dust or just that something is dirty. So I'm talking um, another bathroom that we have or the bedrooms, um, the office, the playroom. It's, it's just not feasible right now for me to be on top of everything the way that I have envisioned that for years. Would I love for my house to be, you know, perfectly cleaned everyone at all times? Sure. Am I willing to spend the time to make sure that it is like that? The answer is no. And that is because, you know, life is busy. There are other priorities that I have and there is just not enough time in my day to, to get to that point. It's just not worth it to me personally at this stage of my life. So I choose to concentrate on the main living spaces where we spent a lot of time. I did dedicate a lot of time to the cluttering of my house to make sure visibly it looks tidy, but it's just not perfectly clean and I am okay with that. There are, you know, obviously things in my house that other people are responsible for. Um, anything that, you know, like washing the sheets, on the beds, the upstairs bathroom, that is what my husband is doing. Kids' bedrooms are their responsibilities. So it is not like we have, you know, a huge, you know, clutter everywhere or there is a lot of dirt. It's just not getting done on a very regular basis. That's my point too kind of going on that tangent here. Um, here I am cleaning my office. This one is also a room where I need to spend more time figuring out a better organization system. Paperwork has always been um, a problem for me. I have improved a lot, but there is still a lot of room to do better. So that is something I am going to be working on over the next few months. That is to make the space more functional. Um, so it's not as still cluttered and I feel it is there is just you know there's just not a good function to the room yet so that is something on my to-do list but um, let me know how you know how you feel about what kind of I just described this this idea of not having a perfectly clean home and kind of having this I don't know if it's a compromise or just this vision on you know what you are willing to do to get the house looking the way you want it. And this right here is what I want my house to look like. There is not a lot of clutter anywhere. Um, it's giving me peace. This is where we spend majority of the time in my house. So this is where I'm gonna spend majority of the time that I have to clean and making this space working and being functional for us. So really curious to hear your thoughts on that topic. And Another thing that I like to do on a weekend, so besides cleaning that I take care of before the weekend, on a weekend I usually dedicate a portion of my day to do a specific project, whether that's organizing something, decluttering something, maybe it's the day when I do a lot of the food prep, 
this particular weekend I was concentrating on getting the school supplies ready for my kids so I already have a whole video on that I just included a little clip in here to kind of show you that this is part of my weekly reset you know I plan ahead what I'm gonna dedicate that time to and again it's gonna depend on what is happening in our lives at that particular time And of course, it wouldn't be a weekly reset without some laundry in it. So laundry is one of those things that I am sure everybody has to do. And it's also another area where everybody has their opinions on how often to do laundry, um, how many you know, clothes to have, how to segregate them. Like the whole laundry system, I feel it's another um, area where everybody has different opinions on. For me, Personally, what I am doing right now and have been doing for a while now is I do my kids' laundry twice a week. For us right now, it's Tuesday and Saturday. And then I have their clothes segregated. It's by kid. So once it's done, I will either kind of fold it and then put it in the rooms to put away or I will just take the basket and put it in the room without folding so they can do it themselves. It kind of varies depending on what we have happening and how long it's going to be before they can put it away so it doesn't get too wrinkled. For myself, I will do it either once or twice a week. Um, it's probably has been like Wednesday and Saturday for me as well. I will also wash our towels on a Saturday. The rest of the laundry is really my husband doing it. So whether that is sheets, his clothes, he takes care of that. And that is working for me. I have never been able to do it every day like it's suggested. Um, I don't know if it's because I do not like doing laundry, specifically the putting away clothes. So it's just something that has worked for me. So whatever that system is, use it. Uh, but it is part of my weekly reset because I do it. Um, on the weekend um, every single weekend so it is a big big part of that next i do move on to looking through my fridge seeing what i have and doing meal plan and lately to be honest i'm just struggling with it a little bit and i don't know if it's you know partially being tired of the recipes if it's just being tired of cooking <laughs> Because sometimes I go through the, those phases um, and it's also part of it is for me to still kind of figure out a good system for what days to cook on and what days to have leftovers or get a takeout and what I mean by that is you know schedule during the week changes a lot just from day to day. So what I try to do at the beginning of the weeks or on the weekend really, is to look at my schedule, that's kind of what you saw me looking at my phone, you know, what activities we have uh, for what day, if there's any appointments, and that kind of drives what type of recipes I will pick for dinners. And, you know, if it's, we have a busy evening that is either a crock pot or it's a leftover or a takeout, and if it's something where I have more time, I will pick something that I know I can spend a little bit more time in the kitchen getting it ready. Lunch and breakfast is usually the same for, you know, for all of us, we tend to eat the same things for breakfast. For lunch, I will either have leftovers or I'll just grab like a salad kit and I eat that for lunch or a smoothie, it all depends. But I have tried, you know, meal prepping a lot in the past where I would have whether, you know, dinner's partially ready for the week, veggies cut up, 
where I would have lunches ready for the whole week. I'll go through those phases here and there, but typically I kind of go for simple. Um, still an area, honestly, that I am trying to work through, see what works best um, for me and my schedule. I have also had, and I talked about in my previous videos, just a really busy season at work and I was really getting burned out so that affected a lot on what I was able to do so even when I planned a meal I would get to the evening of the day and I just had like zero energy left so we would just end up eating leftovers making ourselves a sandwich you know going something very simple so it's again still work in progress but I do spend time at the beginning um, of my weekend to make sure that I go through what I want to eat um, that I have the ingredients on hand to do that and just kind of helping myself be prepared for the week ahead. So of course what comes with meal planning is also getting some groceries in and putting things away. I didn't show in this video a lot of groceries that um, what we got for the week but you're gonna see in a little bit I was putting some away in our um, second pantry in the basement but the other part of kind of getting ready for the week is filling up all of you know the snacks the things that we use on all the time whether it's refilling some containers with like flour or sugar things we're going to be using throughout the week that is also a, um, a good part of my routine something um, that I am very intentional of doing the last thing I want to do during the week when I am like rushing and trying to cook something and I have to go and you know go to the basement get some extra stuff because I don't have it in you know accessible in this little pantry we have in a kitchen so that is really if you're not um, having that as part of your weekend routine or weekly reset I would definitely add that to the list it just makes the evenings much more pleasant and less aggravating at least for me and this is um, kind of another part of the weekly reset where you know I spent a little bit more time in here than um, you know than I would some other weekends, and that's just because we had more snacks that we bought at Costco, so I wanted to organize them. And there was a little area on top of that shelf that I noticed it's just starting to accumulate things, so I wanted to spend a few extra minutes to put it away before it starts growing even bigger. Um, because I know myself really well once the clutter starts gathering it is much easier to keep adding to it so that was something I wanted to address this particular weekend Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, it could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again So keeping things organized 
is um, is definitely something I spend at least a little bit of time each weekend. It's gonna be probably a different area of the house each time again depending on what just needs my attention and it is so much easier to keep up with it now that my house has been decluttered quite a bit over the past few years. If you're interested to see how this basement looked like a few years ago, I think three years at this point, I'm gonna link a playlist down below of basically how that looked like back then. And it's it has been a disaster, if I may say so myself. So the cluttering has been a huge, huge part of uh, my home management journey and where I am right now. So if you are in that place right now where your house needs some major decluttering definitely check those videos out for some motivation because you will definitely be able to see um, a huge difference between before and after now it's just kind of upkeeping um, i still do the cluttering so don't get me wrong it's not something you just do once and you you know it kind of just is um, there are still areas of the house where I, you know, do need to declutter on a regular basis, but it's not a huge effort like it used to be. It's, again, just an upkeep. And you're going to see, um, once I'm done with this clip, kind of how much stuff I was getting rid of. Some of it was just boxes from the things we brought from Costco, but some of it was still like expired food or things I needed to move to a different place. So um, it's still important to keep that decluttering as part of your routine, but it's, you know, once you do a major decluttering of a space, it's not gonna be such a big deal anymore. Now, I mentioned before, another part of my weekly reset is doing some food prep, and that kind of, again, varies from weekend to weekend. Um, a lot of times my weekly reset is going to involve um, cooking um, some sort of soup for the week that my kids will eat, um, maybe prepping mac and cheese, um, some meat that my son likes to eat throughout the week. So those are kind of the things that I will do typically for their lunches, some muffins. Um, and some weekends, you know, I don't have to do, let's say, muffins because I will do a double batch on one weekend, so I don't have to do it every weekend. Um, so some other things that might be just cooking, you know, maybe some extra meat for lunches or it really all depends. Um, this week um, or this weekend, I should say, I was just prepping some um, some dinner for, I think it was just for myself for um, for the next couple of days. My son was, my son, my husband was going out of town. Um, so I just then had to spend just a little bit of extra time on the weekend to have my dinners ready. So I didn't have to worry about it during the week as you know, when one of us is not at home, you obviously have to cover whatever the other person was doing. So it just makes it easier that way for me. So again, it, it does depend. I am trying to get better with um, getting some things ready for the week ahead as far as meal prepping or not even meal prepping, but maybe food prepping, just some ingredients. Um, it's just, you know, it seems like there is just never enough time on the weekend to do everything the way you would really want to do it. Um, so if you're struggling with that, definitely let me know. And if something doesn't get done on the weekend from your list, let me know what that typically will be. Is it meal prep? Is it cleaning? Is it some other projects? Let me know what kind of gets kind of at the very bottom of your list and typically will not get done if you run out of time. And the last part of my weekly reset is basically planning. And that planning will usually involve um, checking on a budget, planning for anything um, budget related for the week, paying any bills if they need to be paid. Most of them are on um, automatic pay, so it just gets pulled. But every once in a while, you get a bill from a doctor or some other bill you have to pay. So that's happening. Um, on <clears throat> on the weekends typically for me um, it's not all the bills I mean we kind of divide it up with my husband what who does what so there are some that I'm responsible for and there are some that he is responsible for and then 
really the majority of my planning has to do with looking ahead for the week and filling up my planner with what's gonna be happening. So that involves both work and home. So for work, I will use my phone <clears throat> um, to check my schedule for the week, just write down any like meetings. I will usually think about um, what major tasks or projects I need to be working on. And then for home, I will put all the activities in my planner for the kids, any appointments. So I have it kind of a week ahead. I know what I'm going to be doing, um, what I have to pay attention to. And that really helps to set my week for success. And it's not perfect, but it is much more efficient this way. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. We never fall, could have tried much harder. Now all we have are scars. He said we'd get so high.